Hi, my name is Matthew Wood. I'm a sound supervisor out here at Skywalker Sound in Northern California. I'm also a voice actor for the uh, Clone Wars animation series. Did you really think I would leave the hyperdrive unguarded? We'll rendezvous back at the twilight. So we are in charge of everything, the explosions and lasers and sound effects and the R2-D2 beeps, to the dialogue that's recorded for the main actors, to getting the music integrated into the soundtrack, as well as the foley, which is all the very specific sounds that are too specific to be found in a sound library, like footsteps and clothing movement and putting utensils up and down off a table and stuff like that. So it's, it's basically everything you hear in a movie comes through our department and then it gets approved by the director to be part of the experience. You know, he electronically modifies his voice and it's really uh, interesting when you hear Matt's regular voice versus who he is as General Grievous. Do you really think I would leave the hyperdrive of this ship unguarded? I thought the hyperdrive was fixed! Ah, uh, the Navic computer is heading my interest in sound came um, from my grandfather, actually, who worked in broadcasting, and he always had like reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders and, and old audio equipment in his house. And then my father always liked to really have a really good stereo system, so I got to play around with tape recorders as a kid. And then when my parents bought uh, one of the first Macintosh computers back in the uh, mid-'80s, I uh, used that for digitizing sound and playing with it, manipulating pitch and making things sound funny. Um, and so George Lucas, uh, his company Skywalker Sound was developing a program to do sound editing for film. It was called SoundDroid. And uh, I started working out in this company when I was about 17 years old, um, testing video games for uh, some of the games that Lucasfilm was making. And some of the techniques I used for testing, they asked me to use those same techniques in testing this sound program. So I took my sound background and also my testing background. Those two things came together and uh, I started working on SoundDroid. The most challenging and exciting part of my career, I think, was um, getting in, into this job when digital technology was just in its infancy and, and watching that change coming from analog tape into digital. And so I got to teach the um, sort of legends in the field out here how to use the new tools. So I got to learn from them the art of sound design and sound editing, and they got to learn from me how to use the technology, and it was a great relationship. And I have a lot of mentors that I've worked with out here to be able to share that with, and it's a unique opportunity to really get in close with somebody and teach them something while they're offering something back. So it was a real learning experience for me. You know, I had to, I had to get up to speed on things that weren't even offered in classes at this point, like digital audio, digital video, and time code, and, and, and you know, all the computer manipulation that we didn't. And now there are schools to learn a lot of this, so um, it's an exciting time for sound right now. I recommend making your own films, you know, and on, a, on a basic computer now you can do all your own editorial and digital acquisition with the camera and sound and, and, and come and, and use your time wisely by putting your own, you know, projects together. When I'm hiring people as a supervisor, I want to know they can work with a team. You know, a lot of the tools can be taught on the job, but teamwork sometimes not learned on the job and you, and you come to the job with that and so that's really what I'm looking for um, to have a really happy good crew that I can work with and that brings me a lot of satisfaction and that's like the number one thing that I look for. Yes, reset the Navi computer! Quick, uh, reset the Navi computer! No, no, reset it! Re reset it! <laughs> Keep your minds open, you know. I was 17 years old when I started in this company and I never would have dreamed that I would have been voices of major characters in the films and had the responsibility that I do on these projects. And it can happen to you. And stay focused, learn new things, expand your horizons, and definitely have an open mind um, and opportunity will come your way.